all rise. Vula Vula Ver. The International Residual Mechanism for Criminal Tribunals is now in session. L'audience du mécanisme international appelé à exercer les fonctions résiduelles des tribunaux pénaux est ouverte. Please be seated. Good afternoon, Your Honor. This is case number MICT 1596A, the prosecutor versus Jovica Stanisic and Franko Simatovic. Thank you, Your Honor. Well, thank you. And before proceeding with the appearances of the parties, I note that Mr. Stanisic and Mr. Simatovic and counsel for Mr. Stanisic are participating via video conference link pursuant to Rule 69C, Paragraph 2. I have also authorized Senior Appeals Counsel for the prosecution to follow remotely via video conference link with separate counsel for the prosecution representing in it in court. Now, for the appearances of the parties, counsel for Mr. Stanisic, please. Uh, Your Honor, thank you. Um, my name is Wayne Jordash. I appear on behalf of Mr. Stanisic. Thank you. Mr. Stanisic, can you hear the proceedings in a language you understand? Uh, yes, Your Honor, I can. Thank you. Counsel for Mr. Simatovic. Good day, Your Honor. My name is Vladimir Petrovic, and I am representing uh, Mr. Simatovic here today. Thank you very much. Mr. Simatovic, can you hear the proceedings in a language you understand? Yes, Your Honor, I can. Now, for the prosecution, please. Good afternoon, Your Honor. It's Lorna Bolton. I'm joined in court by Janet Stewart, our case manager, and by video link by Laurel Bag. Thank you, and thank you, thank everyone for their introductions. You know, this is the first status conference that I convened in this case since I assumed the positions as president of the mechanism and presiding judge of the appeals chamber in last July. I would like then to start by thanking my predecessor, Judge Agius, for his excellent manager management of the case and his assistance in getting me up to speed with the proceedings. Now, today's com status conference, and let me brief you a little bit about it, was scheduled by order of 9 August 2022, and is taking place within 120 days of the last status conference on June the 23 of June, 2022. In terms of procedural updates, the appeals chamber remains sized of two pending motions seeking admission of additional evidence on appeal. The briefing is complete and the appeals chamber will address the motions in due course. I note that uh, the next status conference is due to be held before the end of January. And for everybody, everyone's scheduling purposes, I presently intend to convene it on Thursday, 19 January, 2023. I have also communicated with my colleagues of the appeals chamber about the appeals hearing. Following these consultations, it is anticipated the appeals hearing in this case will be held in person in the week of the 23 January, 2023. The dates for the status conference and the appeals hearing will be fixed through relevant orders that will be issued in due course. The schedule for the appeals hearing will, will also be communicated by order. I will now turn to Mr. Stanisic and Mr. Simatovic. I recall that under Rule 69B, the primary purpose of a status conference in the appeal phase is to allow a person in custody pending appeal, an opportunity to raise issues in relation thereto, including his mental and physical condition. So please let me know at any moment if you need to get into private session. And now turning to Mr. Stanisic, do you or your counsel 
have any issues related to your detention conditions, health, or any other matters relevant to this status conference. And I recall, if you need to go to, into private session, please let me know, and we will do so. You're, you're on. I say on behalf of Mr. Stanisic, but Mr. Stanisic would like to address you, uh, if possible, in a closed session. In closed session, was it? Okay. Yes. Yes. So please, yes, please register. We would like to go into private session now. We're back in open session, yes, thank you. Thank you. Now, Mr. Simatovic, do you or your council have any issues related to your detention conditions, your health, or any other matters relevant to this status conference? I see that your council is standing up, so we hear you. Thank you, Your Honor. Could we very briefly go into private session? Let's. Go to private session, please.
we're back in open session, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any remarks the prosecution would like to raise or to make at this moment? Yes, uh, very briefly. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for clarifying the date of the hearing. That's very helpful in terms of our planning. I can advise, Your Honor, that the prosecution is working collaboratively with the defense on getting the publicly redacted briefs uh, filed. Uh, and lastly, I'd just like to ask if the uh, chamber would consider conveying to the extent possible any questions you may have for the parties that you'd like us to address in oral hearing to us in advance of the hearing. Thank you. Well, that information will be provided before the hearing. I don't have it now, but of course, you will have uh, the organization of the hearing and everything in your course. Wonderful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, if there's anything else the parties would like to say at this moment, I thank the register and all the staff for facilitating this status conference, and I thank everyone for their participation. So this status conference is adjourned. Good afternoon. All right.